How do you get a digital twin running in the cloud with ThingWorks? Let's talk about that next. Okay, so how do you set up a IoT connected digital twin and why would you want to do that? Let's let's take a few minutes to talk about that real quick. So a lot of companies, they might be capturing sensor data off of a product in the field and applying AI and machine learning to that to predict what's going to happen in the future. But some companies want more insight into what's going on with that product in the field. So one way to do that is to set up, some people call it a digital twin, but basically it's a simulation where you feed it sensor data and then you take other measurements off of that simulation. <clears throat> and the idea here is that you gain more insight from those other measurements. So how do you do that? I want to answer that question today talking about PTC's products and how they work with ThingWorks. So let's walk through an example of how this might work. Let's say you have an autonomous tractor out in the field uh, that you are streaming data off of. Lots of different sensors. That data is going up into the cloud uh, to ThingWorks and ThingWorks is collecting this data over time, you know, streams of data. One way that you can mimic the behavior of that tractor out in the field is to use uh, Integrity Modeler, right? So it's now part of Windchill, but with Integrity Modeler, what you've been able to do is build these 1D system simulations that are almost like diagrams with inputs and outputs. They're all equation or formula based, um, but you can build those models and then you can, you can run those models next to ThingWorks using what's called a headless application. There's no UI, it doesn't display UI anywhere. Basically it's an application that's kind of running things in the background, but it's getting sensor data from ThingWorks and then feeding back these extra measurements back into ThingWorks. So you now, now you have a richer set of information where you can gain insight. The other thing that a lot of people probably are not aware of is there's a similar type of thing for Creo. It's called Creo Products, Product Insights. Same type of thing, you can kind of set up, usually it's a kinematic simulation, something that's a little simpler, it, it can't really be a stress type of simulation because of the time required to run those simulations. But what it can be is this, you know, calculation of lots of other things that might be, where's the center of gravity? Uh, what's the surface area above water? Um, all types of things like that, that are basically model based driven uh, calculations. So you can feed this headless Creo products inside application that's running alongside ThingWorks in the cloud. You can feed it sensor data and it drives extra sensor, well, it, it drives extra information and data back into ThingWorks. Okay, so let's be clear. There, there are very few other companies other than PTC that are making these types of investments to kind of extend the digital twin, this kind of connected digital twin that's mimicking the behavior of something in the field. There's very few companies that are trying to offer those types of solutions today. And this gets into some really interesting kind of applications. You know, you can look at, okay, is the thing that you're, you know, the tractor that you're working in, is it about to tip, right? Is it uh, about to be submerged maybe below the air intake for the engine or something like that, right? So, so you can use this to kind of drive other types of uh, warnings or behaviors or heck, even, you know, let AI and machine learning loose on it and let it try to correlate those measurements with other behaviors or anomalies or things that affect um, predictive maintenance and those types of strategies that you want to get in place for your company. So this is something where if there are some complex aspects of, of your design that as you're going through the engineering aspect of your product development process that say, okay, these are some key measures for behaviors. This is how we figure out if we're on target or not. 
it's not out of reach to say, hey, let's measure that over time. Let's actually use that in a headless Creo products insight instance of an application and a model. And let's see if this actually does make a difference. Let's kind of close the loop on our hypothesis of how this thing is going to be used and behave and see if that actually is the case. So really interesting application. It's going to be useful for some companies. Uh, and if it does seem like you've kind of gone through that, there are some key characteristics that you think will make an impact and you want to see if it does or not, this is a good place to kind of experiment and check that out. That's it. Take care and talk soon.